Service and sacrifice have been instilled in me from a young age. I grew up in Cincinnati to a family of hard workers. My mom managed a Head Start program in Bond Hill. My dad was a Cincinnati police officer for 16 years. He patrolled and defended these streets, putting his life on the line every time he stepped out of that police car, a fact that has never been lost on me. As a child and through my parents' teachings, I was inspired by watching a movie on Thurgood Marshall. I saw someone who looked like me fighting for justice. That dream powered me through high school at Seven Hills and allowed me to attend some of the best schools in the country with the help of scholarships and student loans. But I never forgot where I came from. In fact, between school, I would come home to Cincinnati and work with children and families in low-income areas to reduce health disparities and inequality. After college, I didn't have much, but what I did have was a strong work ethic and a commitment to justice. So I took a job prosecuting violent criminals at the District Attorney's Office in Manhattan. After spending a few years in some of the toughest courtrooms in the country, I had the honor of joining the Obama administration as a federal prosecutor in the Civil Rights Division. Working for President Barack Obama, Attorneys General Eric Holder, and Loretta Lynch was a dream of a lifetime. Never did I think I'd be able to work for a president and an Attorneys General whose stories were so similar to my own. Despite working for President Obama, my hometown was always calling. My wife and I picked up and decided to make Cincinnati our forever home. Raising a daughter, I share the same things many parents want for their children, to keep her safe, for her to be treated fairly, and to give her a chance based on her work, not the color of her skin or her gender or her background. Like every parent, I want to leave her and her generation a world that is just and fair. I want to create a home and a life for her where she is safe and respected. The truth is, if we allow injustice and apathy and waste to reign in our system, our children are not safe. When we have a mass incarceration crisis that causes jails to overflow, our children are not safe. When we have a bail system that needlessly destroys lives for those who can't afford to buy their way out of jail, our children are not safe. And when our kids are not represented in the halls of justice by people who look like them and have walked in their shoes, our children are not safe. Now I've been told a time or two to wait my turn, that it wasn't quite my time. But you know what? Justice cannot wait. Change cannot wait. Our children's security cannot wait. It is on us to move justice forward, not tomorrow, not yesterday, but right now. And I'm running for prosecutor because it is time for a new generation of leaders to step up and transform a broken system. If you believe we shouldn't have to choose between safe streets and justice in our courts, then join me in this fight. If you believe that justice is for all and not for some, then join me in this fight. This is not just a campaign for me, it's a campaign for you. Join me.